So there are two references to Jesus in uh, Josephus's Antiquities. Um, one uh, occurs in chapter 20. It's a short one where, where Josephus is mentioning the death of a man named James. And he says, he tries to tell you which James it is, because James is a common name. And so mm -hmm. since people don't have last names, <laughs> you've got to identify them somehow or other. And so you, you come up with some identifying marker. And the identifying marker for James is that he was the brother of Jesus, who was called the Christ. And so uh, that's an off-the-cuff comment. But it's usually read as a statement that you know who that is, who, the Jesus who's called mm -hmm. the Christ. And the reason you know who that is is because in, chapter, in book 18, two books earlier, he gives a description of, of who Jesus was. Um, and he says, he says interesting things that uh, coincide. Uh, the, the basic factual information he gives coincides with what we get in the New Testament. He says that Jesus was a, um, was, was a, was a man who had a, had a following uh, that he, he taught uh, about, he says, both Jews and Greeks. I don't think that's probably right historically. I don't think Jesus had Greek followers, but but mm -hmm. he, he thought he did. Um, that he taught that he had he, he taught he was a teacher. Uh, that he was known to have done uh, amazing deeds, uh, but that he was uh, turned over to the authorities by the Rome by the Jewish leaders, uh, and that he ended up uh, being being executed. Uh, but that his followers continued on down to Josephus' own day. Um, and so that's, that's, yeah, you know, that's, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of the Gospels as well. Um, some people have argued over the years, not just mythicists, so many people have wondered over the years, is this, does this really go back to Josephus? And the, the big issue is that in this passage in Josephus, there are several statements that are not the kind of thing that a non-Christian Jew would say about Jesus. <laughs> Because he says uh, he was a man, if you if you could call him a man, for he was the Messiah. You know, it's like, whoa, what? And then at one point he says that, you know, in order to fulfill the scriptures, he was raised from the dead on the third day. But yeah, uh, you know, that really does. We know from his autobiography, we know from his autobiography that he um, he did not become a Christian. And so these statements look like they look a little bit strange. So the deal is that. Uh, I mentioned that Josephus was involved in the Jewish war before he got captured. Uh, within uh, the tradition of Israel, Josephus has always been considered a turncoat, uh, a betrayer of the cause, because he was, he was a leader, he was a general of the uh, Jewish troops up in Galilee. And when they were surrounded by the Roman troops, his, his men took a uh, suicide pact that they would draw draw lots and one would kill the other, who would kill the next, would kill, I mean, it'd go on like that until the two people would be left. And it turns out he was one of the, he drew the lot to be one of the two left. And when everybody else killed themselves, he turned himself in. Uh, mm -hmm. And so like all of his, and so this did not go down well. And he, he himself talks about this incident. He talks about it himself. But so uh, his writings, as important as they were, were not preserved by Jews through the Middle Ages. They, they wanted nothing to do with it. The, the writings were preserved by Christians. And so what it looks like is that Josephus had this statement about Jesus and the things he did, and, he, and some scribe whomped it up a little bit, like scribes do. <laughs> Christian scribes are doing this with their own Bibles, but they certainly did it with Josephus. Uh, uh, there was a man, and then a scribe added, well, if you could call him a man, because he was the Messiah. <laughs> and so the scribe is adding in a few lines. Uh, not, not whole lines, just like little statements. Uh, to, in order to show that Josephus too believed that Jesus was the Messiah who was raised from the dead. Uh, some people have taken that to an extreme to argue, well, the whole thing doesn't belong there. Um, and I think that that's wrong. I think that um, uh, you, not, you know, not for any personal religious re reasons. Uh, I'm not, I'm not personally a Christian, but I mean, but I think just on historical grounds, mm -hmm. I think the rest of the statement looks to me like something Josephus wrote. And it looks like chapter in book 20, he's referring back to it. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I think that uh, I think it's authentic. Um, I don't think that he had this knowledge. You know, he wasn't born with this knowledge. Somebody gave him this information. But I think his knowledge it was kind of floating around like lots of other knowledge that he records. Uh, and it's not that he'd read the Gospels. 
But, you know, obviously he's getting this from people who are saying these things. Hello, viewers. Thanks for watching this video from the History Valley YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if any of you wish to further support this channel, please consider checking out this channel's Patreon page and becoming a patron. And or donate through PayPal or through Super Chat during a live stream. Thank you.